Hello, it's Neil Paddock from How to Program Drums and you are looking at a screen with a rather exciting file on it. It's um, the ESQ1 contact file which I downloaded from Tomislav Slatik at Bedroom Producers blog yesterday um, and this is going to be made available very very soon. So, what I did was first of all I downloaded it then here it is sitting in my download folder and when you double click you get something like WinRAR to open it and you can see it's a bunch of um, different files and folders it's about 170 megabytes by the looks of things there you go and um, there's a couple of documents in there, installation instructions which you're encouraged to read um, which there'll be a version 1.3 to go in there as well what else can I tell you about it? I just dumped all the contents of this folder, uh, did an extract to, and um, basically put them into a folder on my desktop called BPB Contact. Um, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. And uh, once that's there, we're ready to move on to the next step. Here's a little contact icon. When I opened my contact, I got an error message. So I got this. This patch was generated by a newer version of the application. Please upgrade your copy to load the patch. Basically, you put your details in there, log on to the internet. Um, if you've got an account with Native Instruments, you can then download the relevant bits and pieces um, there. So I've already done that. I've got the new Contact 5. So let's see what it looks like. So here we go. And I've already pointed it to my BPB contact directory and if I load up the first patch it's as simple as that. You probably aren't going to hear this at present but um, I take my word for it, it's working and you can similarly scroll through the patches if I want to go to the next one. The first one is too cool if I want to go to three trums I just click my little arrow and three trums appears there and I can play the next one as well. If you are in doubt as to what these sound like, I do have another video on YouTube. I may add some of the sounds of this a little bit later on. Um, anyway, that's the standalone player, and sim simply scroll through the 40 patches, and you have access to all of the Insonic sounds that shipped with the instrument uh, when it was made available in 1986. Um, or was it 1987? It was a long time ago anyway. Just to mention obviously that uh, my collaborator in this is Tomislav Slatic, who runs bedroomproducersblog.com. We talked about doing something like this, a treat for all you bedroom producers out there. And uh, as I've had a, an Insonic uh, for 27 years now, uh, I thought it was probably about time that I shared some of its sounds. So uh, this started off as a venture into how I could get the thing to work with propeller head reason, but um, we've obviously since um, doing that uh, brought out some F SFZ scripts for some of the cakewalk synthesizers like Dimension LE and Rapture, and then this one, uh, the latest one that uh, Thomas Lab has uh, kindly put together for us, focuses on native instruments contact, which is what we're looking at right now. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, I'm going to close that. I'm going to open Reaper. I just have to wait a few seconds for it to appear and then I can drag it onto the screen. Okay, now let's just check. So what I'm basically going to do here, I think I'm going to just remove contact. And pop it back again because this is the demo version and it's expired since last time so I need to get a fresh 10 or 15 minutes on my demo and uh, pretty much the same deal as before really here it is you've got the patches here and you just need to set up your track which I've done already in good old Reaper make sure it's armed make sure the little speaker lights on make sure you're pointing to your keyboard controller of choice uh, that's my one down there and when you've got all that sorted, uh, it's just a case of 
double clicking like we did before. Um, so we save with Anna Brass. Now I'm getting that in my headphones, I'm just not sure whether you're going to get that on the video. And similarly, we can scroll backwards and forwards. So that's Bill Piano. We can go back to Anna Brass, we can go back to 4X Fade, and so on and so forth. So they're all there. Um, I think Thomas Love's done a great job. I've tested all these, they all work fine. They all sound just like an Insonic, which I can vouch for because I've got one sitting over there. Um, so um, it took me a while to, to sample this and, and get the right balance, but I think it was worth it in the end. And Thomas Love's been able to put some time aside, his own time, to put this um, set of scripts together, the contact scripts. So um, feel free to shower lavish praise upon him for doing so because I think you should have a lot of fun with these classic patches. Similarly, if you want to uh, keep up to date with us, then do check out howtheprogramdrums.com and Bedroom Producers blog for more freebies. Um, hopefully this is just the start, so um, very, very soon you'll be able to get your hands on 40 of the original ESQ1 patches resampled and rebooted for Native Instruments contact. This is Neil Paddock, how to program drums.com. Um, wishing you a happy and productive day and look forward to hearing your stories about all the wonderful things you can do with this free sample set that uh, Thomas Zlatic has put together for you. Okay, bye for now.